Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. What's up, Libras? What's good, my loves? Come on in, my loves. Welcome back, Libras. We're going to do your love reading for the month of August, my loves, okay? Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Let's see what messages your higher self have in regards to this connection, in regards to this person, this relationship, okay? Let's just see where your emotions, feelings, and thoughts in regards to this particular connection here, Libras, okay? So come on in, my Liberians, and yay! This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and if you have a South or North node, the readings may resonate for you. And also, cross watchers, my loves, welcome. You are welcome here as well, okay? So let's see, Libras, let's see what messages we have for you for the month of August. What messages in regards to love, okay? Let's see what's going on in your love life. Okay, Libras, let's see what we have for my sexy ass Libras. Ooh, first card out here we have is the Seven of Cups. I like it. It's having some options. It's having different opportunities, okay? Some of y'all are literally going out shopping, okay? Just enjoying yourself, being able to do things that you enjoy doing in the month of August, okay? I like it. Let's see what else we have here, my love. Looking good so far, Libras. Ooh, we have a jumper here. All right, we have everything is fine. We have the Ten of Swords. This is your energy, my loves. Genu Genu Gen genuine. Okay, some of these people, we, we clearly know the uh, Ten of Swords, a.k.a. the Ten of Swords, um, stating everything is fine here is how the artist wrote it out here in the Modern Witches Tarot deck. Um, this is meaning for the Ten of Swords card here. But however, I was going to state that this is your energy, Libras, okay? Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. But however, we know that this is a situation that we've all been there, done that, got the t-shirt, right? And excuse my nails, Libras, okay? I'm so excited about my nail appointments. My um, person who I go and get my nails done through, they're back from vacation, and I'm so excited. I've been waiting on that. Okay, moving forward. But however, the Seven of Cups here again for your past energy. We have the Ten of Swords here for your current present energy. And let's get one more card out here, Libras, for your future energy. And let's break these cards down and let's see what's really going on here, okay? Oh my goodness, my loves, okay? Now, I, I definitely, I'm seeing the will of um, fortune here. So, this definitely telling me that this situation or whatever caused, you know, these energies to disrespect you, betray you, do things behind your back, okay, hurt you, you know, delay you from your opportunities here in the past with the Seven of Cups here, okay, you will receive justice for this, okay, look. And it's just when you get all this pressure because you're getting set up to be a diamond, honey, okay? I'm just going to say that for what it is because you've been doing the work, Libras, okay? You've been drinking your water and you've been minding your damn business, okay? So, um, just continue to do that. Continue to, um, you know, mind your business, drink your water, evolve, love, and continue pushing, okay? Because energies like this, when they know, you know, when they know what it is that they have done, okay? And instead of them bringing light to the situation, you know, this is all what they know too well, right? Wow. And the devil card comes out with the three of wands here for your future energy. Yeah, Libras, this is a situation where these people, okay, these energies that you have come across in your life, rather if it was a significant one, an ex, loved ones, family members, friends, co-workers, okay, whoever with the Ten of Swords. So this could be different, several energies and people, right? And for some of you all, because they know of that, instead of going within themselves, 
holding themselves accountable, okay? Um, you as well, Libra, held, holding yourself accountable, taking responsibility that both parties exist, that it takes two to mingle, okay? That what was wrong was wrong, what was right was right, Libras. And I feel like in this situation here, because we have the devil coming out here as well for your future energy and then the three of wands, okay? And for some of y'all, this is what, again, you realize now in regards to these particular people, places, and situations that people cause hurt because, in generally, they're hurt or was hurt or in the process of currently being hurt. Okay, so what they do hurt others, cause pain instead of trying to, you know, help fix the situation or help communicate, help adjust, help these patterns, help stop these type of patterns that's causing the relationship, causing the connection between you two that was once before genuine. Okay, I'm sure you were on one point of alignment or balance with each other before it got here right before it got to the the ways of not being done for you two to evolve grow love and do for your highest good as a marriage and a partnership supposed to be right right and i'm sure there wasn't the intentions going in right libras but unfortunately these situations happen okay they were intended to happen so you and the person that you are in this relationship with that you have learned this lesson from okay and it was needed to play out that way as i always say time and time again um doing readings here is you know these are situations that are played out these are written in the stars for us to take as you know love respect and understanding right and you know Regardless of what the person done, okay, everyone has their own path to walk. Everyone has their own um, journey that they have to pursue, right, or have to wake up to and understand. And everyone's on a different timeline, okay? So let's get some clarification here, Libras. Let's see what's going on here, okay? And my loves, wow, right dead into the reading. We got a lot of information here okay wow so again if it's resonating so far my loves don't forget to like hit that big old fat thumbs up my loves welcome again if you're new here welcome it's been a pleasure be more than happy to subscribe okay a lot of information here okay i hope this is bringing enlightenment to the situation so far if so subscribe be a part of family where we love okay we evolve and we simply move forward, okay? And we elevate and we do things for the humanity, for our loved ones, for who and we are missioned and journey here to do and help assist along this way, okay? Because it's not all about us. The picture is bigger than that, right? And we move forward. So let's get some clarification here, Libras. Why do we have the Seven of Cups here? The Ten of Swords. Fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, this is definitely in regards to putting the burdens down, okay? All the things that, again, transpired in your life that was, you know, for the good and for the bad, okay, has come to this point that now you've gotten a realization. Now you've been able to release, relieve yourself as well because we have 1010. This is definitely a completion for you, okay? These ways of doing things, these people of you know that you've once hung around in your past before that you realize now that you just don't resonate with no more you know and because you are outweighing or you know shedding off the ways that you used to do things that don't for some of y'all excite you don't enlighten you it don't help you it don't help you to grow evolve it's not healthy for you and you realize that and you've put these people these opportunities as giving you these type of energies in the past you put the burdens down back here in your past, okay? And you're moving forward, okay? And as I stated, keep doing that. Keep drinking your water and minding your damn business, okay? Moving forward. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify. That's a confirmation right there on my device. Let's move forward. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords, a.k.a. 
everything is fine here. Let's clarify everything is fine, Libras. Why do we have everything? Why do we have everything is fine here for Libras? The Empress, okay? Divine Feminine Energy. Yes, I like it. I told you I was looking good. I felt that in my aura. Okay, over here looking good as fuck, okay? Yes, own it, Empress. You deserve this. And I'm going to give you that utmost enlightenment, okay? Because people placed in situations probably don't even give you that much of an energy and appreciation of me just saying, yes, Libras. Fuck some shit up. Full, full on the motherfucking clock. That's right. Looking good. Own it. If ain't nobody told you, good job. Okay? As they say, keep up the good work. Okay? And keep being fruitful. Okay? That's why she's always known to be shown as pregnant or pregnant. Because she's continually being fertilized. Because she's continually to manifest and manifest. And just infinitely just keeps going and going. Be shooting these and giving these limits. People keep giving her limits. And what does she do? Make motherfucking lemonade. That's right. Fuck some shit up. And what do you do when you came across these people's situations, Libras? You made motherfucking lemonades. That's right. You know, you 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 been down and through there, okay? You been through some toxic devil ass, all type of shit. I understand, okay? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, okay? Had a bed there before to get to understand these type of situations. And now I know what I now don't want to be involved in, okay? I know what side to choose from. I know how I want my life to be and how I want to manifest and what I want my damn bubbling universe to look like, okay? And this is the energy that you have evolved into. Wow. Yes, my loves. Yes, and this is, has been you all alone. Since you got here on this damn earth, Libras, this has been you all alone. And you have realized that. Mm, 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 mm. Moving forward. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify the devil and why do we have for your near future as well the three of ones and like i said because it's funny libras just like i said in the midst of all this chaos and all these things that's going on around you all these people and i feel like you know what i feel like libra that this ain't this ain't bothering you you all not one bit huh i feel like this is more of the energies externally again because we have all these swords here all these people in these situations that you were in, and for some of you are just put in because you just genuinely being you. And you know, some of y'all unfortunately got fucked out of that situation, but it's okay. You got fucked out of that situation so you can go into what you again over here making some more lemon and lemonade out of because you're still manifesting it's why i said it ain't even bothering you because you over here minding your business tending to your own fruit and drinking your own water and my ass looking good while you're doing it fuck this shit up libras mind your business because minding your business it keeps you out of just nonsense okay moving forward why do we have three of ones what is libra over here manifesting her sexy ass with all this chaos and drama and she say he say all this bullshit on the outside going on while Libra's doing all this on the inside that's what you do that's right stay on the inside and see how motherfucking fruitful you become huh because like I said damn look at this five of swords coming out here a lot of chaos Ain't got shit to do with you because you went within and did what you supposed to do. Now these energies don't want to do the same. It's okay. Some ain't meant to go where you going. And it ain't as much as you can try to lead them to the water. But you can't make them drink it, Libra. You can't make them drink it. So unfortunately, you had to step into your king of swords energy. And for some of y'all, this person could be have replacements of an air sign as well. Aquarius or Gemini as well. Or Libra. Okay, again, we have Capricorn out here. Um... Oh, I wanted to say Virgo. So some of y'all may be a Virgo. Okay, and we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, excuse me, energy out here. This is definitely a situation you had to step in, put your foot down on because these people was, you know, disrespecting you, stepping over the line. Okay, because they know. They know what type of energy you withhold, Libras. They know. They know this already, my loves. Wow. So let's get a card here from the universe. Let's get a card of advice for the universe, my loves, and finish up your reading. Wow, my loves. Beautiful. Keep doing you. Keep making that motherfucking lemonade, okay? 
Okay, sexy ass Libras, aka my librarians, is why I call you that because you're intelligent. You're beautiful. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, what kind of advice, universe, could we have here for my Libras? The Two of Wands. Wow. You keep doing you, as I said, and you make the decision that you know is for your highest good, okay? It's what it is that you believe and you can continue to continue to follow your intuition, okay? Because your intuition is not going to lead you straight, okay? And I feel like that's what you're doing now because you're at this point in your life. You're going towards what you believe, you know, what your spirit and higher self is informing you of and what's your passions okay it's what the wands is all about what is your passions and that's what you're choosing you're simply choosing that okay and that's where it starts and that is just the beginning my loves wow so this has been your reading libras for the month of august again if the reading resonated with your spirit okay and your higher self don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell my loves and we shall chit chat soon Mwah. I love you. Bye-bye.